What a what an impressive looking engine this one is. Right? It's a Rolls Royce, is it? Yeah, it's a Rolls Royce um, Meteor. So these are what were like surplus engines left out of the aircrafts. Yeah. Um, so instead of having the two stage supercharger on it, they took them off and put a um, they put a slide injection on them and detuned them a little bit so they knocked the compression ratio down. So it pushes about 600 horsepower as it sits. Uh, with the two-stage superchargers and the, um, the carbies on them when they had them in the Mustangs and the Spitfires were pushing anywhere from about 15 to 1,600 horsepower. Wow. So, um, and one of our members who has got this here on loan sort of thing is in the proceeds of building us a uh, one with the supercharger on it. So oh, when that one happens, we'll, we'll see how she turns out sort of thing. So, so you, you, sw- you have an engine run on these on uh, several days or uh, nominated days? Or? Yeah, no, on nominated days and everything so when we get the crowds come in or if we've got a special event or something we and we do take them away so we we've taken them um to Euroa on the show and shine and we took it started them up there and uh, it, um all rev heads love love grumpy oh, engines yeah. so yeah. and this one really shakes the foundations yeah. uh, so like you could hear this one um from the other side of the bridge of Euroa sort of thing <laughs> so you know you know she's running sort of well so yeah hearing's a must um yeah. We have when we have uh, older groups, we tell them to turn their hearing aids off because we don't want to blow them up. But um, yeah, she uh, rocks the foundations. Yeah. Did uh, the history on this particular one? Where did this one come from? Um, this one uh, was a surplus engine, so it never actually got used. Oh. Um, so, but it was up in Tokemore, and then um, they had them up there. And um, Ian, who's one of our members, he he's been tinkering with engines for a long time. Knows. Uh, so much about them and everything like that so um, this one was a crate one so it was ready to go but he's actually got a couple of them that he's in the proceeds of rebuilding at the moment Um, but he just loves tinkering with aircraft engines and big ones so yeah so it's um, a a good asset to have so I can't wait to hear it (laughs) let's have a and you can listen to her and see what she does yeah let's have a go thanks mate no worries